What can they contribute? Meghan and Harry Spotify podcast dismantled before even airing. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been criticized for expressing concerns to Spotify about COVID-19 misinformation by a British author. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry signed a lucrative deal with the streaming giant to host and produce podcasts, estimated to be worth around £25 million US dollars, £18 million, in late 2020. In a statement on Sunday, the couple's charity Arch Yule said they had been expressing concerns to Spotify about the issue since the charity's inception, and continue to do so to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. Author Douglas Murray has criticized the couple for speaking out against Spotify. Speaking to Sky News Australia, Mr Murray said, As for the most representative on the pulse of the world couple, I'm thinking of the Sussexes. We do need to hear from them, don't we? Because whenever there are issues to do with not just politics but the significance of truth and anything to do with the public mood. What you really need is to hear from a prince and a duchess from their house in California. It's absolutely crucial that we get the Duke and Duchess on anything. I'm a great fan of the royal family, I am not a fan of these former members. What they think they can contribute I do not know. It comes after a number of artists ditched the platform due to controversial content such as the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, which has been known to air vaccine-skeptical views. An Arch Yule spokesperson said the couple are committed to continuing their work with the streaming platform. Hundreds of millions of people are affected by the serious harms of rampant mis- and disinformation every day, the spokesperson said. Last April, our co-founders began expressing concerns to our partners at Spotify about the all-too-real consequences of COVID-19 misinformation on its platform. We have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. We look to Spotify to meet this moment and are committed to continuing our work together as it does. It comes after Joni Mitchell announced on Saturday that she would remove her catalog from Spotify in solidarity with Neil Young. Young's music is being taken down from the platform after he reportedly offered it an ultimatum to remove either his work or the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Following Young's reported concerns, Spotify said it aimed to balance both safety for listeners and freedom for creators and had removed more than 20,000 podcast episodes related to COVID since the start of the pandemic. It acquired the Joe Rogan Experience podcast in 2020, reportedly for more than $100 million, 77 million pounds. Stand-up comedian Rogan, 54, has previously attracted controversy for suggesting the young and healthy should not get vaccinated. Later on Sunday, Daniel Ek, CEO of Spotify, said, We know we have a critical role to play in supporting creator expression while balancing it with the safety of our users.
Rogan Experience podcast in 2020, reportedly for more than $100 million, 77 million pounds. Stand-up comedian Rogan, 54, has previously attracted controversy for suggesting the young and healthy should not get vaccinated. Later on Sunday, Daniel Leck, CEO of Spotify, said, We know we have a critical role to play in supporting creator expression while balancing it with the safety of our users.